Hi, it's Jesse, and I'm here today to answer a question from one of our users. Uh, Muhammad would like to know how he can add motion effects to his page. Um, so Muhammad, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so edit your page that you want to add motion effects to. Um, and whichever element you'd like to animate. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to do this middle column. So you can, you can add animation effects to, say, this paragraph just this middle column or this entire row. Um, so I'm going to use the column and click on the hamburger menu to edit the column. Go to the advanced control and then I'm going to go to this bouncing ball icon which is the animations. Um, so in the animations we have a ton of types for you to choose from. Um, I usually stick with these attention seekers because um, they seem to be the most effective way to um, get your users to pay attention to a specific element. Um, so for example, you could try rubber band, which does this kind of snapping motion. Um, you can use the head shake, which is just a kind of a subtle little wiggle. Um, you can use jello, which kind of wobbles in the, um, the diagonal direction. Um, and there's a couple others. So you can do tada, which kind of goes woo. Um, so those are, you can choose from a ton in here. Um, there's something like 50 different animations to choose from. Um, and then you can also adjust the duration of the animation and the delay. Um, so the duration is how long it takes to actually perform the animation. So let's say we want this one to be two seconds instead of one. And we'll go ahead and do select ta-da or wobble. So it t takes a little longer to do. And then the, the delay is the amount of time um, between when your user scrolls to the element, when it becomes visible to your user, and when the animation actually starts. Um, so if we set that up at, say, three seconds, and we'll go ahead and preview this page. And once that loads, as soon as I come into the view here, there's a little delay in between when I actually see this and when it moves. Um, so you can adjust those settings um, and you can add that, like I said, to any element on your page that you'd like just by choosing the hamburger icon, advanced controls, and then the bouncing ball icon is the animations. So I hope that helps out, Mohammed. If you have any more questions, please let us know.